Hey everyone, I'm Marsha. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have another smoothie recipe for you all, but not just any smoothie. Today we are making a blood orange smoothie. Now blood oranges are only in season for about four months out of the year. So from winter to early spring. So you have about two months left to grab you some blood oranges and make one of these smoothies that I'm gonna share with you today. So if you didn't already know, blood oranges is a citrus fruit and it gets its name from the dark reddish color on the inside of the orange. And that dark red color is an indicator that they are high in antioxidants. And antioxidants are great for fighting off chronic diseases such as cancer. So in other words, they're very healthy for you. So I absolutely love when blood oranges come in season. And today I have not just one, but two blood orange smoothie recipes to share with you all today. So let's jump into the recipes. All right, so we're gonna start things off with our oranges. So I'm gonna be using two blood oranges for each one of these smoothie recipes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them open. And as you can see, as soon as you cut them open, you can see the dark red color on the inside. Sometimes they'll be two-tone where they'll be red and maybe a little bit orange, but for the most part, they have a dark reddish color on the inside. And I'm actually just gonna peel the orange peel off and then check for any seeds. And blood oranges actually don't have that many seeds in them, so you shouldn't see too many in your oranges. So if you wanna juice your oranges, you can, but I found it easier to do it this way where I just peel the um, orange peel off check for any seeds, and then just throw the entire orange segments into my blender. So I'm just cutting open my second orange and then I'm gonna peel it and check for any seeds. Once your oranges are prepped, you can just add them to a bowl. And this is just a quick view of everything we're gonna be using. So I have my oranges, I have some frozen mixed berries, I have some spinach, a little bit of water, some ground flax seeds, and a banana. Now it's time to add everything to your blender. So I'm gonna start off with my oranges just because I know they're gonna produce a lot of orange juice. So I'm gonna add the oranges first, then I'm gonna add in my water. Next, I'm gonna add in a little bit of fresh spinach. Then on top of that spinach, I'm going to dump in my frozen mixed berries, and then I'm gonna get a frozen banana. So you guys know if you watch any of my smoothie videos that I love using frozen fruit, especially frozen bananas in my smoothie. So I'm gonna add that in. Then I'm gonna add in some ground flax seeds. And I have the measurements for everything listed down below in the description box. Then you just want to blend it all up and you should immediately start to see that dark maroon color that comes from the blood oranges and the mixed berries. It's so pretty. And then you have your blood orange mixed berry smoothie. Then moving on to our second smoothie. This one is gonna be a tropical blood orange smoothie. So we have some tropical flavors and ingredients going on here with our frozen pineapple, our banana, a little bit of vanilla yogurt, some almond milk, and some hemp seeds. Again, I'm starting with two blood oranges that I've already peeled and checked for seeds. Then I'm gonna go ahead and dump those into my blender and I'm gonna go ahead and add in my almond milk. So all of my liquids are going in first, my blood orange juice and my almond milk. Then I'm adding in everything else. So I got my frozen pineapple, I got just a half of a banana and I ran out of frozen bananas. So <laughs> I had to use a fresh banana, which is totally fine. Then I'm gonna add in my yogurt and I have been testing out a few dairy-free yogurts this particular one I like in my smoothie, so that's what I'm gonna use. And it is vanilla flavored, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of that yogurt to my smoothie. Then I'm gonna add in some hemp seeds for extra protein. And then I'm gonna add in some ice because I'm not using that much frozen fruit in this smoothie, so I do need the ice this time to help thicken it up. And then you just want to blend this one up. So this one is gonna be a little bit lighter than the last one because we're using lighter ingredients such as our pineapple, our banana, our yogurt, but it still produces a beautiful color and the flavor tastes amazing. It reminds you of being on an island. That's how good it tastes, you guys. So I hope you try both of these out and let me know which one is your favorite. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a big thumbs up down below. And while you're there, let me know in the comments if you plan on making one of these blood orange smoothies soon. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, so I'm so excited. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below along with the bell so you never miss when I upload a video. And until next time, friends, I'll see you later.